Hey, what's going on? Uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot of cough. Me cough. There's gonna be a lot of me coughing in this video because I'm currently sick. But uh, yeah, just want to get this video done and out of the way. Because uh, yeah, stupid thing. I was uh, since I don't have the money to actually get the game, I watched some of the the all the cutscenes for the new the Devil May Cry DMC. Some people are calling it Devil May Cry 5, I'm not exactly sure why. This one looks like a 5 to me, or even a prequel to the other Devil May Cry's. But, yeah. <clears throat> they uploaded the videos for DMC, I watched all of them, and I like how they, I like where they went with the story. You know, it was pretty, it was really good, even at the end. You know, because that's honestly what I was waiting for, the Virgil-Dante fight. And... Then, and finally, someone's uploaded the, the cutscenes for um, DMC, Virgil's Downfall, which was also pretty damn good. I enjoyed it. I like how they went. They went, it was like, it was, I can honestly say that that one seemed more darker than, the, than like, the Virgil from Devil May Cry. That's just my opinion. Other people would probably be like, no, I'm like, okay, whatever. But this one just seemed darker to me. Why? Because of the fact that, okay, one, he, you know, he feels betrayed by everyone. He feels like they betrayed him. He feels like they betrayed him even though he betrayed their trust and everything and went in to enslave all humankind. Which I think, <clears throat> which I'm pretty sure was kind of different from the original Virgil's plan, which I think was just to become the strongest, if I remember right. I don't know, I haven't played Devil May Cry in forever. Well, not since, like, Devil May Cry 4. But, yeah. If I remember right, original, first, you know, Virgil from Devil May Cry, his thing was he wanted to become, just become the strongest. He wanted to become like his father. He wanted to become like his father. This Virgil just wanted to become a god. And apparently, in order to do so, he had to see. It was like because you know, it showed the part where you know where he was talking to himself, which was which they called Hollow Virgil. Bleach reference, yes, very Bleach reference, which I thought, which I honestly thought was like the perfect, the perfect add into it. That was just me though, because it made so much sense. But it, you know, it showed his heart, and you got these three. It had the three lights on it. One was Cat. One was Dante, and one was his mother. Which made sense to me. So, it was like, he wanted to, he wanted to take over him. Or, in a way, I guess, take over. Which, of course, they didn't really get to do. Or just get to make him strong. Or it was basically just to make him stronger. I guess. But, you know, he's dead. He's just, I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this is all in his head, obviously. He's dead, or I believe he's dead, and, you know, most of it's in his, in his own little world. And he has to get rid of everything that made him who he was to begin with, which was Cat, Dante, and his mother. Even though the other, the Cat and the Dante were just illusions of his mind, and his mother, he was just like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. Which is kind of fucked up, I mean, yeah. But, you know... He like gets rid of all the three of the lights becomes because it because of that he embraces his darker side, which I will honestly say is not half bad. That's like a new uh, that's like a new way of looking at it, you know. Instead of trying to become the strongest, you want to become a god. In order to become a god, you have to become strong. But to become the way he did, you'd have to do a whole lot more. That's cutting all ties to anyone and everything that you ever cared about, or in his case, thought he cared about. And his mother, he was just like, yeah, I killed your son, I'm done with you. And then he just left her. Then, the best part, the best part in my honest opinion, the fight between himself, with the fight between himself. Him versus him, him versus Hollow Virgil, which I thought was freaking amazing, which was perfect. It's like, I mean, I looked at the comments, everybody was screaming Bleach. I don't blame them, it's true, you get the Hollow Virgil, it's like Hollow. The second you put, added in the word Hollow, I was like, oh my god! 
Honestly, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be thinking, huh, what if Ichigo had taken that path? This is exactly how he would have turned out. And this is, I mean, this would, oh, this right here is, would probably open a lot of eyes for people. It's like, yeah, if you're a Bleach fan and you watch this and you're like, oh my god, just think, Ichigo could have turned out that way. That would have been crazy. But yeah, and then he just became, and then it, it, he, he, so he kills like the four most important people to him. Cat, Dante, Virgil, and himself. He destroyed himself to rebuild himself. You know, without destruction without destruction, there is no recreation. So he had to destroy himself and re and recreate himself and, and remake himself. To fit what he wanted to truly be. Which apparently was some extremely evil dark dude and then you know he gets back up and what happens all the demons are coming and they they bow down to him and I was like holy shit and that interested me I want to see what happens next I want to see what happens I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a part of the second game because I'm pretty sure the second game is gonna be all about freaking Virgil trying to take over everybody Trying to rule the human world, demons probably. But yeah, he's basically what become he's basically become freaking Mundus now. I mean, yeah, that's basically it. Apparently, but apparently in this world you can't exactly die. I noticed that because if that were the case, he should have been he should have been dead like the other Virgil was, and then you know taken over by the demon Lord whoever ran that area, that demon world. But this one was interesting, you know? This entire, the entire game was, the entire, the, all, the, all the game completely was different from what you've seen. And seriously, people, stop saying it's a prequel to the other Devil May Cry's, because it's not. This is completely different. I mean, remember now, the, if memory serves, the original Dante was half human, half demon, not half angel, half demon. If I remember right, I'm just trying to in my head here. Uh, let me look it up. I can look it up on Wiki real quick. Yeah. Human and demon. He's half human, half demon. And, you know. Which makes the, which makes the story so much more different. At first, I was like, ah, oh, seriously, how the hell are they going to make this work? But then, you know, it's like, because I remember, it's like, I remember first reading, reading, up, reading up about it, a little bit before the game came out, and they were like, oh, he's going to be half human, half half angel, half demon. He's going to be a Nephilim. I don't remember Nephilim being the mix of angel and demon. I could have swore that was the mix of angel and human, which also threw me off. I was like, what? Oh, uh, okay, whatever. But it was, it was still good. It was all still good. I liked it. I mean, the story was great. The character, I mean, the characters, I mean, in my opinion, had enough. To build on. I know some people are like, I know some people are like, oh, well, that's it. He's not as badass as the other Dante. I mean, no, actually, honestly, I think that Dante was just as badass as the other Dante. I think those two would go somewhere and hang out and have a couple beers and chat and tell stories about how they kill demons and try to one up each other. The two Virgils would probably try to kill each other. Even though the Devil May Cry Virgil, in my opinion, will win against DMC Virgil because of the fact that one is more obsessed with power, the other one is more obsessed with becoming, becoming a god. So the one that's more obsessed with power would most likely, I'm just, this is just my opinion. I think that Virgil, I think the Devil May Cry Virgil will win because of the fact that he's, that he's more goal-oriented on this one thing, which is his demon power. Well, the other one's trying to become a god. You know, he can never truly become a god. So he'll always think that he's that strong, but he'll never actually be that strong. I mean, he doesn't even have a devil trigger, you know? <coughs> I'm trying to sort of 
it leaves me at a, different, at a disadvantage, in my opinion. I don't know. But it was still good. It was all the game was good. I mean, the question is, you know, what are they get? I mean, are they gonna continue it? I mean, I mean, of course, obviously, it all goes in the ratings and shit like that. And of you know, how many people actually liked it? How many people actually played it? How much money did we get for this game? You know, <clears throat> depending on that, answers the question of will they continue it? Will they continue it? I honestly hope so. I want to see what happens next. I mean, Virgil's back. He's stronger now. He's, you know, completely unlocked his demon powers. I think Dante's unlocked... Well, Dante's obviously locked more of his angel power than his demon power. That's just my opinion. So... Yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys later.